Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on a binomial distribution question on the FX CG50. We're going to have a look at this question in this video. This is taken from the Edexcel ASNA level mathematics, statistics and mechanics year one AS book. And if you have that book, for your reference, it is exercise 6C question 10 on page 94 if you'd like to have a go. And this is a really good question involving lots of different aspects of looking at the binomial distribution. And we're going to use the CG50 to help us find the answers to these particular questions. So let's have a look. A factory produces a component for the motor trade and 5% of the components are defective. A quality control officer regularly inspects a random sample of 50 components. Find the probability that the next sample contains and then we've got three different questions to answer on that. Well, before we get started, let's just model this particular situation. So we're going to say that the variable x is distributed or binomially. The reason why we can say it is binomial is what we're looking at essentially is we've got two outcomes, a success or failure. Now a success in this case, strangely enough, is actually the component being defective, i.e. it'd be successful if we find a defective component. And the probability for that is 5%, so 0.05 as the decimal. And how many trials do we have? How many do we have in our sample? Well, that's 50. So we can model it binomially with an N of 50 and a probability of P of 0.05. So part A says we need to find the probability of there being fewer than two defectives. Fewer than two. Well, if we think about it, what that's really saying is that we want one or less uh, so either one or zero defective components if we want there to be fewer than two. So essentially what we're looking for is the probability that x is less than or equal to one. Okay, so on the CG50, uh, we want to go to statistics mode. And then we want F5 for distribution and F5 a second time to select binomial. Now because we want essentially equal to one or less or fewer than two what we're after is the binomial cd binomial cumulative distribution to help us answer this one so it's f2 now we've got two choices here if we had a list of numbers we could input that here but we actually have the variables here uh, we know the number of components that were sampled and we know the probability so we're going to press f2 for variable now we need to input our information here so our lower limit well that is essentially zero in, in this particular question, so zero. So if we had zero defective components and the upper limit, well, that would be one. So essentially, what is the probability of being from zero to one? And the number of trials, well, that is our N value. That's the number in the sample. So that's 50 components. And our probability here is 0.05. The last option there refers to if we need to save the result. We're not particularly interested in that at this stage. So if we just press equals, here we have our probability for part A, 0.2794 to four decimal places. Okay, so for part B, we need to find there being more than five defectives, more than five defectives. Essentially what that means is we want six or more. So the probability of x being greater than or equal to 6. If we press exit to go back to our variable page, we just need to change the lower and upper limits here. The n and p values will just stay the same. So our lower limit, well, the lowest that we want is 6. And the upper limit, that would be our maximum possible. That's if all 50 components were defective. So our upper limit is 50. Everything else we can just keep the same at this stage. So if we press execute, here we have a probability 0.0378 to four decimal places. So it's actually quite unlikely, less than a 4% chance that you're gonna have more than five defective components. Okay, let's have a look at the last part of the question. The officer will stop production if the number of defectives in the sample is greater than a certain value, D. Given that the officer stops production less than 5% of the time, find the smallest value of D. 
So before we answer this question, let's just consider the result that we just got there. Uh, we know that more than five defe defectives, i.e. six or more, is going to yield a 0.04% chance. Well, that's actually less than five. It's likely that our result will be lower than six, given that bit of information that we know. Now, what we're going to use to answer this question is we're going to use the inverse binomial feature on the CG50. I'm going to show you this way of doing it and then a second way of being able to do it, which is also valid for perhaps other calculators such as the ClassWiz. But we have this extra feature on the CG50 that enables us to find inverse binomial. So just exit from that and then exit from the variable page. If you just go back into distribution, F5 and binomial, F5 again, you can see that the third option here, F3, is inverse binomial. So if we press that, now you can see that our N and P values are already there from what we inputted on the previous pages there. The only thing that we want to change here is the area, i.e. the area that's covered. Now, let's just have a think about what the question is asking. Given that the officer stops production less than 5% of the time, that means that we want the area essentially to be 95 or greater for that to occur. So what we're going to do is you, we're going to use 0.95 and just consider that as like a limit. Anything above that, the officer will have to stop the production. So we're going to input an area here of 0.95 and everything else we can just keep the same on here. And um, scroll down to execute. If we execute, then here we have our smallest possible value of D that will satisfy that. So that's five, five defectives. So the answer to part C there is five. Now, if you don't have an inverse binomial function, there is another way that we can do this. This is essentially a trial and improvement method. If we go back to binomial cumulative distribution, we've still got the figures here from when we did part B. We're just going to change our lower and upper limits. Our lower limit's going to be zero again. And our upper limit, well, we're going to have to change this and trial a few different values until we get a result that is greater than 95%. I'm just going to start with three. We know it's not one because of the result that we got from part A. Uh, so you can try two if you want to, but I'm going to skip up to three. And we can see that that's yielded 0.76. So that's, that's about 76%. That's not quite high enough. We want the area to be 95% or more for the officers to stop production. Um, so if we just press exit and go back, well, then we need to increase our upper limit then. So let's try it with four and just execute and here we've got 0.896 that's nearly 90 percent but not quite high enough and so one more time if we go to exit and go back and change that to five so remember five was the result that was given by the inverse binomial press equals here we can see that the probability is 0 0.96 so that's 96 percent that's over the 95 percent limit which means we'll have less than 5% remaining. So that will be the critical value that we'll have for this. So we can find it. We can find this value of D by using a, a trial and error method if we don't have inverse binomial. Obviously, a little bit more convenient, a little bit quicker to use the CG50 inverse binomial to help us to find that. So there we go. A very good question from the Edexcel book there. And that's how we can use the CG50 uh, to help us answer that particular question. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on the Calculator Guide.